Microsoft Outlook provides a single tool for managing email, calendar, and tasks. Let's take a quick look around to get acquainted with its layout. Initially, Outlook opens showing mailbox folders on the left, message items in the center, and a preview of the selected item in the reading pane at the right. Outlook is easily customized for the way you work. For instance, you can hide or expand the folder list on the left and adjust the panes just the way you like. There are several default mailbox folders and an area called Favorites to place shortcuts to those you access the most. Sometimes it can be tough to see the small print in a message, but you can easily zoom in for a closer look. Outlook starts in Mail and you can switch to other parts of the program with the icons along the bottom. Hover over an icon for a peek. Then click to open the calendar, contacts, and tasks, which can include to-dos you've created or messages you've tagged for follow-up. Up top is the ribbon, which holds buttons and commands like a toolbar and is specific to the part of Outlook you're using. For example, with Mail open, there are commands to create a new item or delete existing items. It's hard to miss Reply, Reply All, and Forward. And they're even available in the reading pane so you can deal with the message without opening. Outlook will check for new items automatically, but you can force it to send or receive new items on the Send and Receive tab of the ribbon. The Folder tab contains the commands needed to add a new folder or work with folders you've created. And the last tab holds commands to customize the view in the way that works best for you. For example, you might want to close the reading pane or display the calendar on the to-do bar which shows up on the right. Need more room? You can temporarily hide the ribbon by double-clicking one of its tabs. It's still available when you need to find a command and hidden when you don't. Pretty cool! Just above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar which offers one-click access to some of the things you do the most and it's customizable. Click the arrow to add your own shortcuts, like this one to empty the deleted items folder with just a click. For other commands that are used less frequently, look to the File tab. In this Backstage view, on the Info screen, you'll find options to set up your out-of-office replies, clean up your mailbox, or manage mailbox rules. On Open and Export is an option to open an Outlook data file, sometimes called a personal folder or PST file, or open a folder that's been shared by a colleague. The Print button is also found backstage, and this one comes with a big preview of the item to be printed and options to send it to a different printer. And finally, Options. Lots of options for setting up the default message format or spell check, working hours on the calendar, and plenty more. In other clips, we'll demonstrate many of Outlook's features, but for now, that concludes our quick tour around Outlook 2013.